What's going on, guys? Rudy Linnell here, bringing you some more Python programming. Yeah, that's what it is. Here it is. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, what you're watching here, uh, I, I realize just today, they're like, oh my goodness, I'm running out of content for you guys. I really want to have some more footage so I can make code commentaries because, uh, I know I've been slacking off on doing these and I really, really want to. And now that I have this, uh, <laughs> alright, I'll, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Uh, it is the holiday season, you know, <laughs> and, uh, uh, Christmas time is coming and I actually got my Christmas present a little bit early. Uh, <laughs> It was Black Friday, just after Thanksgiving, and I spent some time together and uh, with my family, and it was really great. Thanksgiving was awesome. I'm, I hope you guys had a good time. But uh, Black Friday, the day after, all, like all the stores are having a sale, and everyone's going crazy, like getting up at two o'clock in the morning, going to the store, buying something cool, and uh, you know that's what I did. Uh, I didn't, I didn't wake up at two o'clock in the morning or anything, but I, <laughs> I did go to the store and uh, I found myself a new laptop, and it is absolutely awesome. This thing has a uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, seven hundred and fifty hard drive. It's a, uh, it's got a fifteen point six inch screen. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it, it was running Windows seven by default. But like I told you guys in the other video, I, I upgraded to uh, to Ubuntu 11.10. I've been trying that out, and yeah, that's what you're seeing in this video. You get to see a little bit more of a 11.10 Unity and all that sexy goodness because Unity really is awesome. I absolutely love it. But yeah, this this new machine is awesome. It has uh, four USB ports. It's got a Blu-ray like disc and reader and everything. It has Beats audio. Uh, for anyone that actually knows like the the computer like names and stuff, I have an HP Pavilion DV6. It's got an Intel uh, Intel Core processor i7. It looks like. It is slick. Like, I really, really love this new machine. And I'm going to be bringing a lot more code to you guys with it because everything is so much faster. Like, rendering videos doesn't take doesn't take as long as it did with the old machine. And uh, I, I can do, like, Blender programming. I can do 3D modeling and really, really, like, fantastic stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm totally excited about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what you're watching in this video was really just me playing with Python. Uh, I recorded this video tonight. I just actually finished getting it all done. It's uh, it was an hour long video, and I split it in half because I want some extra content for next time. So you're going to see a half an hour of this content sped up th uh, three times fast. So yeah, that just like a regular code commentary like I usually do. But this is at the, the first beginning of this video was some some work with Python because I was experimenting because a project that I was working on today, um, like I was talk uh, I was talking to you guys earlier about some net shares and some work that I was doing, and I wrote a program called Bashalisk that loops through net shares and all that. And what I want to do is I want to change that into Python code because Python has the thread module and it's a lot awesomer. It's a lot, I'm sorry, awesomer is a really terrible word, but it's really great and that way I can, uh, the thread module lets me use, you know, like threading and I can actually run multiple things at one time. It's no longer like procedural code, it is sort of procedural code, but I can do one thing and then another thing and then all these other things at once. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I was playing with today. But the thing is, there was I was trying to get it started so it would run the remote program because it's it's a Visual Basic script that does that, and you actually see me open it up in this code commentary. I think I open up that Visual Basic script. But the thing is, like, when I I'm trying to run the remote program, I'm trying to run some NERSOF tools to receive information on the on the remote computer, and um, I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. But, yeah, because it'll, it'll run the program, and it's running it on the remote machine, except what I needed to do is I need the program to be able to wait for the program to finish being executed on that remote machine, because if it, uh, if it continues with the code, and the rest of the code is, like, delete the program, if the program is still running, it obviously can't delete the program, so it has to wait. And the thing is... Like when you when you when you initialize a program, right when you start up a program, uh, you can return it from the command line. You can like return a process ID, so you get the identification number of the process. And when the program exits, you get an exit status. And the exit status is whether the program ran successfully, there was no problems or whatever. If you get an error, it'll give you like something that isn't a zero because zero means successful as an exit as an exit status. Running out of air, holy crap, but yeah, <laughs> that's really all it does, but I want to make sure that this code waits until the program has finished executing before I continue with the rest of the program, with the, with the rest of the code, because I don't want to remove the program while I'm still using it, because that'll throw up an error, Python will have a hissy fit, and I'll just have a temper tantrum. I don't know, <laughs> but I, I just want to make sure this code works, and, but that's the thing, I needed to use a module that would run it, so I tried like operating system, a start file, that that didn't work, I tried os.system, uh, that's okay, but it start, It brings up the command line, and I don't want that. Unless I'm using it from within the command line, then I don't think it has a problem. And I might be doing that, except it gave a little... It, it, it didn't have a... It wasn't okay with that either. Um, 
and then the next thing I tried, I think, uh, like the OS dot poppin or popin p open. I think it's like process open p o p e n. You know, and I was playing with it a whole lot. And then there's an actual module for that. There's like import popin two or process open p open. I should be I should be calling it p open. I'm sorry, p open two. You can try that. And I was looking at sub process because I I heard about sub process when I had finished working today on that Python code. So I was just research. I was researching it and trying to play with it and see what I could do. But it is it, like the code that I'm writing in Python is meant for a Windows machine, and obviously it's it's meant for something that is a, that has access to a network. And right here in my little home, in my little home office, I don't have a whole like infrastructure. I don't have a whole network to be looking at. So uh, it was it was a little difficult to play with. But there is a l little bit more debugging that I need to do. And yeah, that's about all of it. <laughs> that's about all that I was talking about in this one. And then near the end of the video, you're going to see me looking at uh, some HTML files because uh, the net shares that I had written, the little Python script, Python script that I had written, not what I had done, not what I'd been doing today. I know this is going to get a little bit confusing, but not, it isn't the Python code that I'd written today, but I'd written earlier. You saw me writing in the previous code commentary. Um, yeah, that I had written because it's, it's trying to loop through an HTML table. It's still trying to loop through multiple HTML tables to get information that we received from these net shares from uh, Nursoft's tool, Net Resource View, and all that. And I was writing up the HTML documentation for nilshell.com in this video. So that's what you're seeing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing too much coding in this video. It was really just uh, researching and uh, writing up documentation on the previous Python code. So yeah. <laughs> But you do see me typing at least. <laughs> the next video, the next code comment that's going to come out is going to have that other half of this footage that I recorded for you. So that's what's going to have that um, that like next half hour, and that's that's you're going to see me like typing mad HTML and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Whew. <laughs> well, what now? <laughs> Three more minutes. What else do I talk about? But yeah, that is the Python stuff that I've been trying to work with. Um, I'm looking at some Game Maker stuff, like I was telling you guys about earlier, like the interactive shell. I actually, actually, I can talk about this. Over the weekend, I, uh, the yeah, just this last weekend. I mean, it's Monday right now. It's Monday, December fifth, two thousand eleven. I didn't do my intro. I should have, I should have like said what day it was and everything. But whatever, whatever. <laughs> Over the weekend, just Sunday, just yesterday, I had installed a uh, Windows seven. On uh, on my friend's computer because he had been running Linux except he's more of a gamer and he was really really upset and disappointed that he can't run all the stuff that he would normally be able to do under Windows. So I just like because uh, Windows XP his previous installation had, like broken or something it would boot up and it would boot up to like the mouse cursor and it, and it was just a black screen you couldn't do anything. <laughs> So yeah, we slapped Linux on the mother trucker. I love saying that. I love saying that so much. We slapped Linux right on there. Uh, he he suffered with that for a little bit. It wasn't really his forte because he's not a programmer. He's not a developer. He's nothing like that. He, he just he just wants to play games. So yeah, I I finally caved in. I'm like, sure, fine. You can have an installation of Windows 7 and all that. And I I gave him that, and he was able to play with it. That was fine. The thing is, like, he's running a desktop, you know, so he doesn't have, like, a wireless driver, or, I'm sorry, he does have a wireless driver, but he doesn't have the wireless adapter, or, like, the NIC, or the network interface card, or whatever, that's usually installed by default, it's, like, built into laptops, but desktops don't have that, so we used a, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe some do, his, his machine didn't, whatever, but, yeah, we had the USB driver for it, I had a USB adapter that I'd given him, and he's using that now. The thing is, it didn't have a driver in Windows 7, or at least it wasn't like an easy thing to do. Uh, like the setup wizard that was offered by Cisco, it was Linux. It was Linksys Cisco, the uh, the USB adapter brand. So we tried that. That ran okay. The setup. I'm sorry. The setup wizard wouldn't run because that was for like Windows XP, Windows Vista, and all that. But it gave us the like actual like source files for the driver, like the real thing. And then we had to go into the device manager on the on the machine, try it out, and like tell it tell it to look for these specific files when Windows is trying to install the driver. And then it had to do it manually. It was a little disappointing, especially because like when I when we installed the previous version of Ubuntu on that machine on on my friend's computer. It it found the drivers without a problem. <laughs> like it, it knew it would it would have them pre-installed by default. I didn't have to go through any setup wizard. I didn't have to bring the source files. Tell the system that here here it is, guys. Do your thing. Window uh, Linux knew what to do at that moment, and I feel great about that. Like Windows, uh, I'm sorry, Linux surpasses Windows at this point. 
<laughs> I feel like that's a good way to end the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope this. I know this code comedy code commentary, whoa, wasn't as good as you probably, you, you guys wanted, but I mean, I was doing this on a whim, because I wanted to bring, I wanted to bring some content to you guys, I was running out of stuff to do, so here you go, <laughs> I know you're looking at a blank screen right now, okay, comment, uh, like, subscribe, holy crap, favorite, <laughs> you know, do your thing, guys, thanks for watching, bye.